me a pamphlet. He's like, come and see the Grand Wizard. Grand Wizard! The Grand Wizard! Didn't do one trick! <laughs> not even one trick. I mean, I noticed a few black people disappear, but I mean, that's not <laughs> that No, that's just Reaganomics. I wasn't impressed by that. <laughs> Hello, Namaste, and welcome to Awesome Entertainment. So, this time we are going to check out Trevor Noah's another stand up comedy video, which is It Makes No Sense. And Trevor Noah is one of my favorite stand up comedians, especially these days. And also, this video's aim is 20 likes, guys. 20 likes. Remember, 20 likes. I want 20 likes. Like, hell, I want these likes. Okay? And I know you guys will definitely will support me and give me 20 likes for this video. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I just got back from Atlanta. It was uh, 107 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, hot as well. The worst thing is everyone comes up to me and they go, well, you, you must be used to this being from Africa. And I'm, no, I'm not. No, he's not. From you. Africa, but that shit is hot. That was just, <laughs> no. That is just South Africa, jogging, right? Because I thought if I ran out in the streets and fainted, wouldn't the local news love that? I'd be running and I'd fall down in the heat. They would have their vans reporting live. They'd be standing there going, so hot in Atlanta, even Africans are fainting. <laughs> so I'm enjoying this. Really happy to be here, you know. This is, uh, is going to be good for us, I, I hope. I say I hope because I never know with stand-up comedy. It's just, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an awkward experience, I find. I'm always nervous. I find comedy is very similar to sex for me. Um, well, it's exactly like sex when you think about it. With me, the comedian, playing the role of the man, and you, the audience, the role of the woman. Because it's my job to satisfy you. <laughs> and you just have to sit there. <laughs> And then, just like sex, my success or failure will somehow be determined by how much noise you make during my performance. <laughs> Which makes it a one-sided affair, I feel. Yeah, know? he's not wrong, it's, guys. Uh, he's not wrong. The quiet type. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope we have magic tonight. Huh? Yeah, quiet types are so boring, guys. So boring. It's still like dead fish. <laughs> and you know the context, right? I hope we create something wonderful. I mean, for many of us, it's our first time together, and that means it might be awkward. I understand this. <laughs> if that's the case, I want you to know that. I know what he means with the first time together. I mean, awkwardness is on a peak. Look into your eyes. I'll see that I'm freaking you out, and I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop. And I'll flip you back over, and we'll go back to the simple stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been in America for a few months now, and I'm, I'm really just thrown by the place. It's uh, not what I expected at all, uh, different from the brochures and the pamphlets. Uh, there's many assumptions I had about America before I came here, and I've come to learn that those were wrong. For one, I just assumed people spoke English here. Um, it's far from it. It's not, you know what, it's not so much the language, so much as the pronunciation of words that throws me off. It's just what Americans have done with the language. You guys have just... Wow, you've just, you've done something. You've put 22s on the English language. It's got rims that just pimp my language. That's what you've got. You know? <laughs> pimp my language. I don't understand. I was chatting to this woman downtown the other day. She came up to me and she wanted me to see something. I don't know what though. She was like, oh my God, look over there. <laughs> I said, look over what? She's like, over there. Over there, over there. at her. And I said, her? She's like, no, her, her. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> It's so I understand nothing, even the small words, just the pronunciation, you know, small things that get you by. Uh, for instance, I pronounce the opposites of uncle as aunt. I say my aunt. Out here you say my aunt. Aunt. Which to me is an insect. <laughs> which made me look like an ass when my friend told me his aunt died. <laughs> 
And I was like, so what? There's tons of those out there. <laughs> what a great way to end a friendship. <laughs> I couldn't get help the other day when searching for a battery for my remote control. Because that's what I say, battery, a small form of power. So in America, you say battery. Battery. Which to me is a different I also say form battery. of power. <laughs> Sponsored by Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I know the context with the Chris Brown and uh, it involved Rihanna too so yeah it was a quite bad case so his way of speaking and contact uh, connecting two dots and with the context it's so brilliant it's so brilliant guys and you know what I understand we live on different sides of the globe so it's fine the language will evolve this is something I've, I've come to but I, I hope I change one thing in your hearts forever just one thing what? and that is that animal in the wild that looks like a horse it has black and white stripes. Oh, a zebra. Yeah, do me a favor. From now on, please, it's not zebra, okay? It's zebra. Uh, yeah, well, oh, zebra, yeah. Just like it's not. Well, oh, God, I just got wrong. Uh, <clears throat> so, let me explain, guys. Let me explain you. Before you start commenting down, let me explain that in schools and in institutions, we are taught to, like, say it like zebra, Z-E-B-R-A. It's zebra. In British English, it's zebra. In our institution and schools, we are taught British English. But since there is so much internet and American influence has came to India that people with Z, they start pronouncing it Z. And that's why it has become zebra. And it's I have also gotten the habit of speaking some words, which is in American accent. Yeah. So my mistake, guys, don't come after me in the comments. Okay, my mistake. I acknowledge it. it's zebra. I have been taught by the, my teachers that it's zebra, but still, I will think I'll continue to speak zebra, say zebra, because it's now my habit. But instantly, when I see Z, it's Z in my mind. So yeah, okay. Please don't kill me. A zebra. It's Debra. <laughs> Same structure. It's Debra. Yeah. Well, it's Plus Debra. Plus, you cannot name them because you do not have them. <laughs> <laughs> zebra. Zebra. This is madness. Everything out here is different. Do you know how hard it is to learn when you come out here? You have to change everything. There's a the measurement system, which is just, I mean, America, you guys have your own thing, the imperial system, you know? On my side of the world, we use the metric system, and by my side, I mean the rest of the world. <laughs> <laughs> we have the metric system, which is, amongst other things, very efficient. It's a very simple process. You know, everything goes into each other, and out here you have imperial, which is fine. I mean, I won't judge you. If you want to be imaginary, that's up to you. But I just feel like there's some consistency that's needed. Small things, like for instance, uh, when we abbreviate our small measurement, milligrams, we use MG, MG. milligrams, yeah. MG, milligrams. Yeah, yeah. And you guys have, uh, have ounces, ounces. ounces, which you then abbreviate OZ. <laughs> There's no Z in the word, ounces. Ounces, okay, okay, now I get what he's trying to say. It's milligram yeah, it's here, guys. in comparison to what you've done with pounds, that for me, Okay. Please explain oh, to me pound, how the abbreviation for pound pounds say. became LBS. LBS, yeah, P O U N D S. Pounds. pounds. I look like the idiot walking into the store going, "Could I please have the two labs bag of sugar?" <laughs> I was like, "You mean pounds?" I said, "I don't see the P. No, I don't." <laughs> Very said, true. Well, it means pounds. It's not L. When I was learning a unitary method or system with the weights in the school, I also got confused with so many times that LBS, how LBS is supposed to be pounds. So I have have to write in my head that what the, these are the short forms for and then I attempted my examination so yeah this thing sometimes makes no sense and I was so oblivious that I should I haven't even checked on the Google I think so well if I have checked it on Google why it's this and this so I might have known it by now but if, I don't know whether I have checked it or not I maybe have checked might have checked it but I don't remember now so yeah let's go on with it like pound is an LBS and which makes no sense there is no P in LBS LBS a lot of bullshit that's what it stands for <laughs> nah don't say it like that <laughs> that's a lot of bullshit in fact it's, it's, it's crazy you do realize the imperial system is so inefficient that even American drug dealers have switched over to metric even drug dealers got to the point where they said, we need some order, we're going with metric. <laughs>
And I, I thought, I honestly thought this was an anomaly. I thought, you know what, this is just one of those things, it's a coincidence, but it's not. Americans do not care about abbreviation nor the English language. They, they just, they don't give a damn. I learned this in the small things. Like, uh, like for instance, when I was in Tennessee, I stumbled on an organization known well, as... Well, you are the 10, Club I see. Nam. So please hit the 20 likes and complete the aim, guys. Worst magic show ever. Oh, why? Guy gave me a pamphlet, he was like, come and see the Grand Wizard. Grand Wizard! The Grand Wizard! Didn't do one trick! <laughs> not even one trick! I mean, I noticed a few black people disappear, but I mean, that's not magic. <laughs> you no, know, that's just Reaganomics. I wasn't impressed by that. Where's the magic? I sat there forever, these guys running around in their sheets. <laughs> the KKK, as they're affectionately known. Has nobody bothered to tell them ever that you do not spell clan with a K? Oh. Nobody, nobody stopped. Even in America, yeah. clan is spelt with a C. C. Yeah, Ku exactly. Klux Klan, they're the KKC, not the KKK. You realize that? Ku Klux Klan. Ku Klux C. Klan. In fact, the name is wrong, the whole thing, the Ku Klux parts of it. That's, that's just horrible, because they, they got that, as you know, from ancient Greece. It was Ku Klux Alfion meaning a circle of brothers. And that's how they got their name. They call themselves a Greek circle of brothers, which is, which is wrong for two reasons. One, One, if your sole purpose as an organization is to hate black people, don't you find it strange that you've now named yourself the circle of brothers? Brothers. <laughs> too, too clever for this joke, yeah. Too smart, you have to be too smart for this joke, guys. <laughs> and secondly, do they realize that in ancient Greece, circles of brothers were doing very different things <laughs> with one another? Very loving, very, you know? Yeah. If they were really a Greek circle, the sheets would be a bit higher up, you know? Just more of a... Yeah. It'd be one more hole. They're not a... Hey guys, thanks for watching. Oh, it's my... Sure no, I should check more of these. I think so. Yeah, that's it for today, guys. Please. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and aim for these videos like it's like 20 to 30. Maybe I have increased the bar. No worries. I know you guys can do it because I'm getting the, at least this amount of views. So each one of you, please support my content and let this video be a trending one. So thank you so much. And I will be back with another Trevor Noah video. Till then, stay safe, be happy and keep smiling. Okay. Bye.